earlier we have discussed regarding measures of central tendency for the topic mean now we are discussing about median in mean whatever we have discussed in mean we have three types of series individual discrete continuous in individual series to find mean we have to use sigma xi by n sum of observation of number of observation then for a discrete series mean we have to use sigma fi xi by sigma fi and for a uh, continuous series mean we have to use that phi columns table is there ci fi xi ui fi ui and mean equals to a plus sigma fi ui by sigma fi into h that is the process to find mean we have three types similarly in median second topic of central tendency unit 3 is second topic is median If you are good at median, you can able to solve quartiles, lower quartile, upper quartile, decile, percentile. Re next three topics are related to this one. Related means exactly same, just formula will be different. Now one by one, I'll explain you what is the difference between median, quartile, and all. In median, what we have, we have same thing: individual series in me, uh, median, discrete series is there in median, continuous series is there in median. In individual series you know now what is individual series anything without table we can say suppose 3 4 5 7 9 10 12 we need to find median for that one median means this is also one of the average this represent the central value of the observations suppose in a class we have a number of students 60 students are there each one got some marks out of 100 one person got 30 one person highest total is 90 And in between some totals are there forty five, sixty, ninety. I want to know the central value. What is the middle value of the mass? So that middle value we can get through with this median. This is also one of the type of average. In individual series, to find median, what you need to remember is ascending order. Whenever we have individual series question, after this I'll explain you individual, discrete, and continuous all questions. That time you should know how to write. first thing you need to remember in individual series ascending order is there we have to convert the whatever values are there we have to write down that one in ascending order after writing in ascending order you have to remember median equal to size of small n plus 1 by 2th observation small n plus 1 by 2 observation small n means number of observation suppose some seven values are there n becomes 7 small n will be the value of this one in discrete series in discrete series you know now what is discrete series in mean same thing if our question have box this type of box and we have some x values and f values frequency values 2 3 5 7 9 whatever 1 2 3 4 5 if you find question in this format that type of question is known as discrete series question that means values are given to you marks are given to you or uh, we can say some observations are given and then suppose the family members are there uh, one first family number of children one second family number of children two in that way we have some data or two marks one member got two marks three marks two persons got three marks five marks three members got five marks out of 10 seven marks some four members got that one nine five members in that way so whatever Data is given in discrete form, and we have to find median. That time we have to remember few steps. Ascending order we have to remember, and median is size of capital N plus one by two observation. Capital N is sigma f i. Now what we do? What is continuous series? In continuous series also, we have to remember this formula. How to use is the different form. At the time of problem, you get to know median equals to L plus n by two minus c f by small f into h. What is the formula for median? L plus what is L? What is n by two? What is C F F H? Everything at the time of once we start the problem, you can get that. Now what you have to remember is in median we have three types of series. That means three types of questions they can ask you. These two questions they may ask you for four marks, and this one they they may ask you for twelve marks. If they ask this one for four marks, you should know what is this individual series and all. By seeing the question, we have to think whether This belongs to individual, discrete, or continuous. They will not give you this is individual series by by seeing the question form. Suppose if question is given in this way, two, three, seven, one, four, like that. Now we have to find median for this one. How to find median? First we have to arrange this one in ascending order. How to find and all we'll do now.
Find median and the question is given in this form. So first thing, mean is given to you and this question is given. That time we will do sigma xi by n. Sum of the observation divided by n will give you mean. But what we are finding here is median. To find median, what we have to do? First thing, in solution we will write ascending order. Whereas in mean, no need of writing in ascending order. Ascending order least value is 1. I then 2, 1 more 2 is there, write it, then 3, 4, 5 is there, 6, 7, count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So n is equals to 8, small n equals to 8, number of terms. Ascending order, compulsory you have to write ascending order, then count down the number and write n. Then you have to write median is equal to size of n plus 1 by 2 observation. Now size of n is 8, a plus 1 by 2 observation. Now 9 by 2, 9 by 2 is use calculator to find that one, 4.5th observation. Where is 4.5th observation? If I will ask you, 2nd observation means 2, 7th observation means 6, 4th observation is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4th observation is 3. But what is 4.5th observation? That means this observation, 4.5 value is not there. So what we have to get is, what you have to do is, 4.5, whenever you find, suppose I got 7.5, that time I write 7th plus 8th by 2, suppose 9.5 is there. We can write 9 plus 9 plus 10th by 2 in the way. Here also 4.5th observation means size of 4th plus size of 5th by 2. Now what is the size of 4th observation here? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4th observation size is 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4. So 7 by 2 is 3.5. This is the answer for median. One more example you can have now. Find median Now this is the question given to us Find median for this information So what we have to do We have to find median So you should know the process of finding individual series median First is ascending order so, we will write this one in ascending order. Ascending order least value is 1, then 6, 7, 9, 10, 1 more 10, 12, 13, 14. Count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So n is equals to 9. Once we got n value, you should remember how to find median. Median formula equals to size of n plus 1 by 2 observation. Or this is size of n plus 1 by 2, 9 plus 1 by 2 observation. So this one, 9 plus 1 by 2, 10 by 2, 5th observation, 9 plus 1, 10 divided by 2, 5th observation. 
size of fifth observation this is not median answer size of fifth observation means check the fifth value of this one 1 2 3 4 5 10 median is 10 in the same way we have to find median of individual series so what what is the other things you need to remember is in median we have three types of questions one question is individual series second question is based on discrete series third question is based on continuous series one more type is there at the end of the unit i'll explain you that one if question is not given in order that means question is in different form continuous form or discrete other than that form if question is there what you have to do that will be discussed at the end of the unit now three things are there in one next in next video i'll explain you what is discrete series then what is continuous series